So uh, they're just joking about uh, fourth highest from your longest and strongest because on the previous hand, uh, they would have actually beaten us had they let us spade, which was South's fourth highest from their longest and strongest. Generally, I try to... I try to lead fourth highest from my longest and strongest, mostly because of the fact that um, I can't get in trouble from partner. Okay, this is an interesting one. All right, and we're off to the races. One spade by the oppos, two spades by Pete, and that's showing hearts and a minor, uh, and at least five, five. Um, so what are we gonna do? Interestingly, I know that spades are six, five, so there's only a couple between north and west at most. Um, I'll just tell them it is Michael's. He probably should have alerted it. Um, I'm going to put the contract into four hearts and that's because I know we've got a double fit. If he's got clubs, he's going to be able to rough them. If he's got diamonds, uh, it's going to be a good uh, position. We typically play that Michael's is either weak or strong. So he's either going to have a pile of rubbish or he's going to have a really good hand. Um, but yeah, I basically like being able to bid here because he is going to be able to get some cross roughing going. Um, yeah, four might be a bit aggressive. It might be worth actually taking a swing at the opponent somewhere if they do bid. Uh, but I'm going to give uh, four hearts a go. You never know it could make. Just trying to think about how badly this can go if we do get doubled. Um, I still feel like I like my chances. Um, it's definitely three hearts or four hearts. There's a bit of a laugh. Two spades, pass that there. Uh, no, I'm just going to give four hearts a go. I wouldn't be surprised if this got doubled. Um, maybe three is appropriate. Just trying to think about how bad Pete's can can be. Um, uh, it's going to be interesting, isn't it? So just trying to think about how bad it can be in terms of what's going to happen. Three might be better, but I don't know, on a miracle day, four can make. So I'm going to give four a go. Pete's got a void spade. It's looking pretty good. Uh, North hasn't decided to do anything. Presumably they can double if they've got uh, values. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Be interesting to see what Pete's got. It could be quite bad at this vulnerability, so it could actually be such a bad contract. <laughs> Uh, but we'll see. Oh, I have to play it. Man, what's with this? I keep having to play all these hands. Maybe I wouldn't have bid four if I knew I was playing it. Got to think about those things. <laughs> Ace O hearts. Good lead opponents. Okay, so he does have uh, clubs and hearts. I'm uh, making my plan. I've got two heart losers and two diamond losers and at least one club loser. Um, so that's not looking particularly good, and three hearts would have been a much better option. But we're not doubled, at least. I also know the distribution on the spades now. They're probably 5-1-6-1. One, one. Um, yeah. I feel like we're going to be able to get here for nine tricks. Oh, maybe not quite nine. I'm going to have some work to do. I've got options of sort of trying to... Uh, setting up diamonds is bad. Who knows? <laughs> this was probably pretty aggressive. Three hearts probably would have done the job. Uh, spade lead. That's going to be fun, isn't it? Um, okay, jack. Eight. So I've got the nine and the queen left. And how am I going to go about this? So I definitely want to win this one. Um, okay. Now I'm in a big problem. So if I start cross-roughing, like I can't completely afford to lose. Uh, maybe I'm not too worried about losing trump control because I could start to basically try to rough um, spades high. We'll see where it all ends up because I definitely want to try to rough uh, some clubs. So yeah, I think I might do that. Let's just play out a small spade. Um, 
Let's see how we go. This is probably bad because it's giving sap the count on the hand. Oh, now it's interesting. Okay, I know I can actually run the five. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, if I do, so just thinking about if I want to run the five and force them to rough. I'm um, hoping they're going to be roughing with the, uh, oh man. What are they going to play back? Yeah, oh, yuck. What do I want to do? So my plan was to start roughing dime, uh, roughing clubs. Um, yeah, I could pitch diamond though, and I know that I've still got, I've got two diamonds. I have to lose. Yeah, why not? <laughs> this was probably kind of risky. Okay, so there's the eight. It's pretty high heart. Let's see what they're going to sling back at us. They're not going to play a club, that's for sure. Okay, so I did have the king of hearts. And if he had, yep, so now they can't play a heart at me, which is great. So what's uh, South's shape? Uh, so South's going to, just trying to think, so I have the nine. Um, if I cover this and they win... Yeah, let's do that. Promoting these super deep diamonds here. They've actually got a real problem of what they play now. Poor South has probably got a lead away from the King of Clubs because uh, North's already uh, rocked up with the King of Hearts and also the Jack of um, Diamonds. Okay, so if I let North win it, So just trying to think of south shape. So if south something like a five, two, three. I wonder if I can end play south here. I feel like I probably can. Um, I might duck one of these and see what happens. So the eight's one. Now the only uh, diamond that's actually left that's higher than my seven is going to be the ace. So that's pretty cool. Can set that one up. And poor North's got a problem because if they play a diamond, they do get to set up my seven. Uh, if they don't play a diamond, they play a club, they give me the finesse. I feel like I'm only going to lose one more trick here. I know South's got the King of Clubs. They have to. Um, oh, sorry, the King of Diamonds, not the Ace. Okay, so we roughed that. My seven of diamonds is good. Um, let's see what we can do. So I know that South's going to be a five, two, three, and that would give them three clubs. Now I'm actually going to be able to basically end play them now. Um, so what's going to happen here? I'm just going to lose one more trick. Just trying to think if... Um, I can get away with not losing one more trick. I know I can uh, basically end play them uh, as well. Uh, let's see what happens. So, yeah, we can just uh, basically claim losing one more trick. Um, yeah, all right, I might as well do that. Just thinking if I can. No, I can't really do anything. Uh, so claim losing one more trick. Um... If he did happen to have four diamonds, so if he was a five, two, yeah, I guess we can afford to play the ace of clubs, rough a club. Yeah, let's try that. Oh, 
Oh, wait. Yeah, good point. I can pitch him. Um, King of Spades is good, and also Seven of Diamonds to pitch clubs. There we go. Okay, so... Thanks all for watching. Uh, sorry about taking so long on that one. I'm butchering five clubs. Um, yeah.